So the apostle Paul said this to the Corinthian people. He said, for we walk by faith and not by sight. So in this life of believing that you and I have, we walk by faith. Faith is important, but faith isn't something that you hang on yourself like an ornament on a tree. Faith isn't like that. Faith is who you are. It's the hope you live by. It's the work that you do. It's the essence of your life. Faith. Why? Believing the truth that all of the rest of life rests upon. That's faith. Now, we also know that the just, friends, that the just will live by faith. In Habakkuk chapter 2, verse number 4, once again, the Bible, the document which all truth stems from in life. In Habakkuk chapter 2, it says now that God revealed to us. God is revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. In Galatians chapter 3, verse number 11, he said, but that no one is justified in the sight of the law uh, of God because it's evident for the just shall live by faith. That law actually causes you to fall off of the truth because the just shall live by faith. In the book of Hebrews, the writer says in chapter 10, verse 38, he said, now the just will live by faith. He said, but if he shrinks back, he said, my soul will have no pleasure in him. So, if you're a person of faith, that person of faith, of faith, of faith, of faith, that person walks that out. Don't just talk about it, but be it. Don't just tell others that this is what you adhere to as a family. Actually do it. What do you believe? What do you personally believe? Now, there was a centurion actually in the book of Matthew chapter eight, that was displaying what he believed. And he said, then Jesus said to the centurion, he said, now go your way. He said, as you have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed from that very same hour. He said, so go. And as you believe, it will be done for you. What are you believing is going to happen in your life? If you're a person of faith, if you're a person of faith, what do you believe is going to happen in your life? What do you believe is going to happen tomorrow? What do you believe? That's really important. What do you believe? What do you believe? What do you believe? Now, in Mark chapter 9, verse number 23, Jesus was speaking and he, and he told Jairus, the, the father whose daughter actually died, and he was part of the synagogue. And Jesus said to him, he said, now, if you can believe. He said, all things are possible to him that believes. All things, everything is possible to him who believes. Because believing makes all things possible. It really does. But it's only faith that makes all of those things a reality. Faith in that foundation and in the principles and in the way God's word says things need to go.